This tortoise was created and inspired by Aesop's fable, the tortoise and the hare. I always begin with any sculpture that's an animal with the face and the head. I created about 20 sets of eyes. I took inspiration from real tortoises, but these are fantasy eyes. Once these were chosen, they went on first, and I went from there. I started the process of the tortoise by welding an understructure, adding hardware cloth, which is a wire mesh, and then a scratch coat of concrete. After that, I adhere the glass elements on with a, a mortar that has a plastic additive, and I also use that same material as a, a grout. Primarily, this park is used by children, but it's also a community park. I've been a local artist here in Laguna Beach for nine years, and the reaction from the entire community has been unbelievable. There was a group of maybe six girls, they were, I don't know, maybe first grade or so, and each one had picked out a particular piece of glass that was special to them. Some of the girls were attracted to the real bright colors, some, you know, these reminded one girl of the ocean. There was all kinds of interesting, imaginative antidotes. To inspire that imagination is magical. something that added to this pleasant, serene, zen-like atmosphere. Each of the shapes mimic the rock formations and the waves. I wanted to create sculptures that people can sit on. The whole process of creating a sculpture is enjoyable. It's not a tedious job that we just want to get through and just install it. I just remember all the hours of welding and grinding and the patina process. It brings back some great memories. Public art, it's, it's extremely rewarding. It's in the public. So many more people get to enjoy it and use it. When people visit here, I was hoping that these sculptures help them enjoy just being in the moment. Quite often I go to the farmer's market. I enjoy looking at all the people. That's what gave me the idea for the piece, the discussion. I think it fits pretty well at that spot. It's a hub. I was very fortunate to be able to do that piece for the city right there. I was so happy to do this because I grandchildren and my great-grandchildren and my great-great-grandchildren could all come to Laguna and say, my grandfather did that. My wife encourages me. I, I can't stay away from here. I'm here every day, but that's still very satisfying and uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody. I had spent so many years kayaking, I used to see people looking down from up here with their binoculars, either whale watching or looking at the uh, sea life, the birds and the sea lions. I thought it would be nice to have something up here that would represent you know, what people are looking through their binoculars at. I took some photographs of the spot. The city also had a couple of images on their website. Between those two, I managed to come up with a drawing for the space that uh, I thought people could relate to. This is the prototype for my cormorant piece. They didn't have to be interacting with each other so much as I wanted them to appear to be reacting to you as you walk up to it. This guy was a different type of challenge. I was taking the sea lion into a swimming motion that is very extreme. I wanted to go as close to circular as I could. It's exciting to leave a legacy any place. Uh, you tend to think that you're not going to leave much behind. And so every chance I get to put a piece out in public, I try to go for the opportunity.
the Deer Warrior started its life after my brother was murdered. I was standing on my deck, just in tears. I looked down between the houses, and I saw the most beautiful deer just standing there, looking up at me. That's how the deer became a part of Extreme Unction Warriors Against Angst. I get letters from people. One in particular just broke my heart. The woman had MS, and she wrote to me and told me that Warriors Against Angst gave her hope to press on. She felt so renewed. Some little boy came up to one of the warriors and his mom said, which one is your favorite? And he said, ah, this one, this one. And he went to the deer warrior. And she said, but why is that, honey? She said, that, isn't it scary? And he said, no, and it's my favorite because, because it is. That's why, because it is. I wanted to be able to give something to the city to thank them, because it gave me a lot more than I gave, I gave them. I thoroughly enjoyed the collaboration between Bronze and Glass on Beacon and Usher in with John Barber. Because of the canyon being a total different location than any other piece in Laguna Beach, we wanted to have this woman hold a big theatrical lamp that pointed down to shed light on the people as well as the direction to the city. Collaborating with Louis Longy was a new experience for me. I've never, I've collaborated with painters, I've collaborated with fiber art people, but I've never with bronze. The beacon is a three foot cone shaped blown glass piece. This is probably the largest piece I've made in my career. It took five of us, all of our strength, for two hours to blow this beacon light. I mean, we'd, we'd never done that before. Collaborated and worked together as a team on a public art piece that was gonna be so important. I wanted Beacon to shed light on Usher Inn. I wanted to have two very masculine figures and have cast glass as a bench. The glass I cast for this is uh, this turquoise color with these kind of currents underneath. Both Lewis and I wanted to show these figures ushering in this water. With this project, what made it so difficult is that traditionally bronze sculptures are created in a different uh, medium and then they make molds. Because of my process of creating original one-time sculptures in wax, there is no duplication. If we were to break anything in the casting process and we were to lose our cast, it would have set us back six months. Laguna Beach holds a very special spot for me. This is my city. I consider this my, my hometown now, where I have my family, my wife and my daughter. And I just feel proud that when we drive through the city, if we see that piece as it kind of welcomes us in. I live here in Laguna Canyon, and when I drive into town at night, I see the beacon light lit, and I see people sitting on our bench. And that, to me, is, you know, a beautiful thing. The day it's installed, the next morning the phone's ringing. People have an opinion, and to me that's something new and something that I love to bring to the table at this time in my career.